Today is bittersweet as I'd like to officially announce my retirement. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. To our regular viewers, thank you for the support. To our new viewers, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. It's a hard pill to swallow for most NFL fans that their beloved players, regardless of the position, have to retire at some point. Football is a challenging career which brings a positive effect for more young athletes to take over the sports world. Retirement after years of dedication, hard work and sacrifice is not easy for linebacker Will Compton, who played in three different NFL teams achieving an excellent career in his position. In his retirement speech, the Titans linebacker shared his first time in the practice field and afterwards made a special tribute to some athletes calling them legends. These are Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson, Adrian Peterson, and Marshawn Lynch. Will also give special thanks to his loved ones, mentors, teachers for shaping out his career and supporting him throughout. To his wife, Will considers her a rock, mentioning how she supported and stood by his side on the days he was doubting himself the most. He later on gave thanks to his mother and his dad for being his foundation. He also mentioned his coaches and appreciated their contributions of shaping him into a player and a man that he is today. And last but not least, he gave a shout out to his fans for embracing him as he is. That being said, let's now listen to the speech itself. Thank you all for tuning in. Today is bittersweet as I'd like to officially announce my retirement from the NFL. I know this is going to shock the media landscape and is probably surprising to many, given the fact that I'm walking away from the game that arguably I'm on top of. But it's always been a goal of mine to, uh, to walk away from this game before it walks away from me. And today, after opting out of the 2013 NFL draft, choosing to go undrafted and making my career as hard as fucking possible. Um, today I get to do that. From, uh, from my first year on practice squad, as I like to say, being hidden on the practice squad, to eventually carving out a role with the Washington Redskins and lining up across from legends. Guys like Aaron Rodgers. Aaron fucking Rodgers, dude. Tom Brady. Lamar Jackson. Adrian Peterson, Marshawn Lynch, legends, um, to, you know, moving, transitioning into Nashville. And um, I'm sure Vrabel would say this, but making invaluable contributions to uh, helping him build this team, helping him build the Titans. I'm just messing with you, Vrabes. But, uh, you know, also, and then going over to Oakland, the Oakland Raiders, and being a small piece of that uh, storied franchise from as they move from Oakland to Vegas and getting to be amongst that crew, man. It's been, uh, when I look back at my career, it's been, it's been incredible. Um, but as that saying goes, all good, great things must come to an end. And my services are now needed, um, you know, as a father, as a husband, with my teams at Bust With The Boys, The Boys, and Barstool Sports. There are, when I think about it, there are way too many people to, to say thank you to. Friends, family, teachers, mentors, coaches, teammates. There's way too many to go through, and that is why I will take the next few minutes to try and do just that. Um, to my wife, Charo, your, uh, your unlimited support throughout my career with my ambitions during the lowest of times when I doubted myself the most. Thank you for being that rock. To my parents, my dad, my late mother who is unfortunately no longer with us, thank you guys for molding and building, helping me build the foundation to take on a world that does everything it can to tell you no and make you question yourself. Thank you for being that foundation. To my coaches, who helped shape me into the player that I became and the man that I am today. Coaches like, I'm probably going to forget some names, but coaches like P.J. Jones, Bo Pelini, Mike Eckler, Ross Ells, John Papuchas, James Dobson, Kirk Olivadotti, Joe Barry, Greg Minuski, Chad Englehart, Jay Gruden, um... Mike Vrabel, because I need him to come on bus with the boys once a year. Uh, Rich Bisaccia, man. 
there's so many. Thank you guys for taking those moments to teach me the game of football and also those lessons that prepare you for life. Um, to my teammates, my fucking teammates, I'm going to miss you guys the most. Embracing the suck, man, with you guys. like Being the locker room that we'll never get back, but the locker rooms, the post-game locker room, vibes the post-practice locker room vibes even the pre-practice vibes when we're in there bitching about practice just to go out there and embrace the suck and chase that fleeting one percent to get better even though we might not ever catch it embracing that camaraderie the late nights the victory cigars the all of it man um i'm gonna miss that the most uh to the fans we're obviously nothing without you guys and Thank you for embracing me at every stop. Um, you know, I hope I re represented you guys in the right way. And I'm truly thankful about, you know, I'm truly thankful that you guys embraced me the way you have. Um, but thank you. You know, when I think about, uh, there's this quote, um, history remembers the Kings and not the soldiers. And our game, our game is no different. And, when I look back on our on our game, on the history of the NFL, we often remember the greats, the Hall of Famers, the Pro Bowlers. Yeah, you know, we don't we forget about the journeymen, the role players, the guys who had to make the most, who had to make the most of their one life given in this league and ultimately the forgotten, man. And as I look back on my ambitions as a youngster wanting to be one of these greats, I am uh, quickly reminded of this quote. We owe the process everything, and the process owes us nothing. You know, we dedicate our entire selves to a craft and a sport. And I think about all the sacrifices and that commitment, that relentless pursuit of excellence that consistency you have to have every day, that discipline you have to cultivate, being able to adapt at every turn and hurdle and when shit hits the fan, because shit always hits the fan, and just embracing that suck with the boys and chasing that 1%. And even though you might attain and catch that 1%, you still might fall short of what you wanted in the first place. I may not be a Hall of Famer. I never made a Pro Bowl, snubbed. And I may be anonymous to many and be forgotten by most. But it's that relentless pursuit of the forgotten that craft the chapters of history. This historical presser is for those gritty motherfuckers dude the backups the guys who don't get the press conferences the guys who had the one life and made the most of it us being forgotten it's to those motherfuckers man and to the game of football and the process Thank you so much for an unbelievable career, and thank you for preparing me for life after football. <laughs>